professional development. So, this is you. Yeah, definitely you. And you're perfect. Not. Okay, don't shout. There are definitely some areas for improvement. You've probably got some development needs and you've got some future plans. So we need to look at how we, you know, work on all those. How do we find the areas that you have to improve upon? How do we turn those into development needs? And then how do we actually work towards any future plans? Well, there's your future. It's going that way and you're chasing it. But the only really sensible way of getting there is to make proper plans. So, there you are again, and you require planning to reach your potential. In business, it's pretty much the same. So, in business, in order to help people reach their potential, they'll often have a, a sit-down meeting with their boss, and it's called an appraisal. So it'll be the employee and the employer... And they'll sit down and have a chat and the outcome of that meeting will be to set some targets and then identify some steps to help them achieve those targets. And that's actually called a professional development plan, which is basically the mapping out of those steps. Now, obviously, you can self-assess yourself in order to try and find out what you think are your own needs. And that's going to require you looking at your strengths and weaknesses. The important thing, though, is to be realistic when self-assessing. So, I'd like you guys to have a go at this. Create a table with your attributes and then your strengths and your weaknesses and list at least five in there. Okay, so we're looking at five rows to be completed. Can you try and do this before our next lesson, please? Moving on from that, you have to be able to set good and sensible targets. And one of the things we do in business, as well as in schools, is set what we call SMART targets, which are specific, measurable, appropriate, realistic, and timed. So, we mean targets that are specific, so they perhaps are regarding a chosen job area, or they are a chosen a particular area of work that somebody is involved in, so it could be a particular detail of their work that they're going to focus on, so it's very specific to that particular person. Uh, they're measurable, so we can say, well, this is how it starts, and this is when we'll know we've reached the end of that activity because we'll have this at the end to show for it. So we can measure whether or not we have reached that target. It'll be appropriate, so it's not a target that they realistically couldn't achieve, and it's not something that is perhaps too easy for them. And that links straight into being realistic. It's not fair to set a target that's way beyond somebody's ability because you're setting them up to fail. And then timed. It's equally important if you're setting targets that you want to help make somebody productive that you don't say, well, you know, get that to me in a few months. You have to be specific in the timings. So you have to say, this will be completed in three months' time and we'll see how much you've developed. Or this will be completed in a whole year's time and we'll review your development in a year. Oh, it could be much shorter than that, a bit like your deadlines at school. Specific, measurable, appropriate, realistic, and timed targets that we set you. Things like, this task must be finished by the end of this week. All of your work must be finished by the 25th of May. That kind of thing. Addressing your needs. Once you've decided uh, what your needs are, as an individual or as an employee... Um, there are various different ways you can go about helping somebody to develop themselves in order to meet the targets that they have set. So they could do some job shadowing where they actually follow somebody and they watch how somebody does their job to kind of learn it from them. They could attend team meetings on a regular basis. Uh, they could go to some formal courses like open university courses that they might be enrolled upon to help them develop themselves. And they could go to some training either inside the company where experts within the company in a particular field put on a training event for members of staff to help them get up to speed or it could be an external uh, event by some experts outside of the company and a typical training plan might start off with the points of action down the left hand side so these would be the the targets that they've come up with remember the smart targets how and by whom, so what are they going to have to do? Are they going to have to book themselves onto a course? Are they going to have to buy a particular book to read? Are they going to have to um, engage in, in a training session once a week? 
And then what are the dates? So when does it start? Uh, how often will it happen? And when is the expected end? Okay, as part of an exercise for Wednesday and during Wednesday, can you create your own version of this and try and base it upon the first task and see what you might set as your own personal targets covering the next six, seven weeks? Good luck, people.